All right, everyone, I know everyone's been missing the movie theater popcorn because all the movie theaters are closed during this lovely quarantine time. So I'm going to show you how I make the uh, famous uh, movie theater popcorn. My kids love popcorn. We do movie nights every Friday um, in our basement. So this is the Presto stirring popper. It comes with a lid on top. And then of course it has this uh, spinner thing here that rotates the popcorn as it's popping or warming. And then of course I'll have my ingredients. So we're gonna go ahead and get started. So first you wanna make sure you take off this lid. If I can get it off, there we go. And just kind of, you know, sit it off to the side. You're not gonna need that until the end because when you're done, you're gonna flip the lid over and we're gonna put that at the bottom to keep those holes closed. But otherwise, those holes allow air to escape and steam to escape while you're popping your popcorn. So let's set the lid off to the side and we'll go ahead and plug in the popper. And as you can see, it's rotating now. So we do need some measuring spoons. So I have a half a teaspoon. Um, this is gonna be for the salt that goes on it, the salt um, ingredient that I have. And then of course, you're gonna need a tablespoon um, or you can just use a regular tablespoon from your uh, kitchen drawer. All right, so I'm gonna do two tablespoons of the coconut oil the buttery this is the one that I prefer it does not taste like coconut oil we've tried other ones and they do have that coconut flavor this is the best one by far so I'm gonna do two tablespoons of this you might have to tap it off because it does become a little difficult to come off the spoon be careful not to splash once it does start to melt because it is very hot and then here's another one I don't make them perfect as you can see it's slightly heaping I want to make sure we have enough oil in here to pop our popcorn without burning any of it. All right. And as you can see, it quickly melts. So I'm going to go ahead and set that aside. That's all the oil that we need. Next, you're gonna need a measuring cup. I usually wing it, but I'll use a measuring cup in this case. And then I have the white corn. This is the best. So Orville Redenbacher's white corn kernel. So I'm just gonna pour that in my measuring cup up to uh, a quarter of a cup. That's about a quarter of a cup, maybe even a third. So I did a quarter of a cup. And then I kind of like to have the uh, seasoning already ready to go because um, I get very anxious when I think it's about to start popping. So I go ahead and I pour this around. Now, as you can see, it does stir it for you, so you don't really have to pour it around. And then I take kind of a heaping teaspoon of this half teaspoon measuring and just sprinkle it around. As you can see, it's kind of an orange color. So that is the flavor call. And then I'm just gonna put the lid on and it's gonna to begin to pop. Oh, just in time. It's starting to fog up, but remember these holes are here so the steam and uh, any kind of smoke, if you actually end up burning it a little bit, but we're not gonna burn it. We're gonna Basically think about popping popcorn in the microwave. You're gonna want to pop it until it starts to slow. When it starts to slow, you're actually gonna lift up the whole thing and flip it over. So let's give it a minute while it pops. Again, we're going to listen to it 
it and make sure that it's not going to burn. So we want to make sure we listen for that, that quick pop. And then when it starts to slow down, we're going to assume that it's just about done. So you may not be able to tell, but it is still spinning. And you'll notice that that's how you know that it's still continuously rotating. So nothing is going to stay in one spot and possibly burn. So over here, the popping is starting to slow down. Okay, so I would assume that's done. I like to go ahead and unplug it. And then I give it a second. And then I flip. I also like to wait a second just in case there's something in there that might be too hot. Sometimes there's last minute pops, so I'm going to go ahead and move that to the side. And as you can see, all of it's out. Now, that's when this lid comes in handy for the bottom. You're going to just place it on the bottom, and sometimes I just push down and it clicks in place. Now, I'm going to get my, this is optional. Um, I like to do the butter topping. My kids love this because it's so much like the uh, movie theater, you know, when you put your butter topping off to the, when, after you buy your popcorn, you put it on afterwards. So um, sometimes I don't use this, you know, cause it does get your hands like super greasy. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that now. So I like to drizzle it kind of on top. And then the one thing at the movie theaters we never get to do is to mix it and then put more. So you can just get a spoon from your kitchen or anything that you may have just to rotate it. Don't worry about if some comes out. Um, so you can either use a spoon and stir it or you can do this. I typically flip it to rotate it and then I apply a little bit more. If you don't feel comfortable flipping like this, because you're afraid that it's all gonna come out, just a little flick of the wrist, you can definitely carefully uh, mix it with your spoon. But just remember, the rougher you are with the spoon, the more kernels that will break and break down and become smaller. So maybe do this very gently or figure out the little flick of the wrist. And that's it. That's your movie theater popcorn. And then of course, you can sample crispy, crunchy, just like the movies. Enjoy!